Hello, so last week I did a video about a Commodore 64 which I picked up at a retro fair and I just wanted to show off, uh, this is another thing I got at the same fair uh, it's a Sinclair Microvision, so it's a really really tiny CRT TV and um, yeah, I bought it as non-working but it just turned out to be some dirty battery contacts and the problem with this sort of thing is that its only input is RF and as there's no analog TV in the UK anymore, uh, it's fairly useless. So instead, I put together this little concoction. So it's an Amazon TV Fire Stick, goes into an HDMI to composite video converter, and then I've wired that into an N64 RF modulator, because um, they're very easy to get hold of. And there we go, there's the Amazon fire TV stick on there and so let's try playing some crossy road so here you can see this is Sinclair Microvision with crossy road so HDMI input into 70s portable CRT TV but this one Sinclair's only stab at uh, making a portable TV they also came up with this which is the Sinclair FTV for flat screen TV and um, yeah this is you know not flat by modern standards but uh, for the day quite impressive because you think in this one all this distance here is the CRT tube while in this they only have that distance so how did they do it in fact the uh, tube is at a right angle to the screen so the electrons get fired out here and then they get deflected right at the end, 90 degrees onto the phosphorus at the back. And so it made for quite a compact unit. This one was sold as untested, but untested in quote marks, which made me think that it really wasn't going to work. But actually, when I opened it up um, and powered it from a power supply, it worked absolutely fine. So. Uh, or it almost worked fine. I got a bit of static on the screen, but when I actually tuned it into something, uh, the screen shrank to a tiny bar and uh, you couldn't really see anything. But that was just uh, adjusting some of the internal trimmers. And while I was in there, I noticed that it would operate on 5 volts. And so I just brought out the battery contacts and uh, wired in a USB plug on the end just to supply power. And uh, yeah, and I brought out the aerial lead as well, just to make that easier to do. So uh, yeah, that's uh, all I've got to say on it really. It's, uh, you know, I just thought these were really interesting devices and I thought uh, other people might be interested in them too. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video.